So look at Gene. He just got a new toy to play with. He got himself the Apex by Garrett, the Ace Apex. And uh, we bought this through that a, Dig That like Beat. John Gurley. So we're unboxing that. We're going to put this bad boy together. And I assume you're going to try it out today somewhere. Even if it's just out there on the property, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's holding your coal into the box. You don't want that to stay in there, D. No. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> It's like Christmas around here. Lucky Gene just got luckier. You think so, Tracy? Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's gonna put it to good use. That was right. That's the right way. You just squeeze them two pins in and then you twist that to lock it down. Let me help you with that. Now hit the power button. Yeah, where that at? Yeah. For some reason you're getting a lot of EMI. Yeah. I guess because we're in the house. Good sound of machine. Okay, so he got the package with everything. The Garrett Pro Pointer AT that comes through the headphones. And the headphones and all that is controlled. All the sound is controlled by the headphones. It's very cool. Very neat. If this thing's a good machine, that's the man to prove it right there. <laughs> Hi folks, T-Hawk with Backcountry Diggers. And today we're doing a group hunt down at the King's Land. And uh, I am standing on an old home site. Let me show you. All right, so see this rocks lying down through here. Right now, I am standing in the in the middle of a depression in the ground where a house stood, and uh, as you can see, let me show you this line of rock here runs all the way down back into here and then we start going uphill just over there so this is pretty cool that this much of the house foundation still exists and right there is the chimney the leftover chimney like i was saying this is the leftover chimney and it starts going back uphill here this looks to be where maybe the porch stood part of the foundation to the porch is also scattered out through here along with this awesome 
rock chimney and it had some old brick to the inside I guarantee you all that brick was made right here on site and it's all mineralized because this is some really mineralized ground but uh, I'm going to search around here a little bit problem with this particular old home site it is that close to the road which is a bummer because as you can see all kinds of modern trash is mixed in here with it those are the old 80 style Pepsi bottles with the uh, metal caps and then you got a can of spam <laughs> numerous cans scattered throughout the place but this looks like a roadway going in beside this home site so I'm going to look around here a little bit then I'm going to catch up with the group but uh yeah this is going to be tough going I'm taking a break right now sitting down a little tired we've been out here a few hours now we found some good things my dad struck first with uh, well let me show you all right, so my dad and Chester are calling me over. My daddy's done found something. I see him over there to the right of me. I'm going to check out what it is. Oh, that's Scott. Hold on a second, Scotty. I got to film something real quick. And I'll catch up with you. All right, yeah, that was a quite a hike back here to get to them. All right, so like I said, he's swinging the the new Apex by Garrett, and this is his first good or ever with it. It makes mine look uh, mediocre. It's got more detail on it than mine did. So you got a train button too? Yeah, guys. Down that first. Hey. Yeah. Wow. And really nice shape. And it's whole. So this is a U.S. large scent. What's the year on it? 1818 1818 and it's hold you can read the liberty on her headband real good that's in good shape wow so you're giving the garrett apex a good name already huh <laughs> well it hadn't been, been doing a lot of beeping on me chester said it up boy good it sounds a little better well how are you liking it so far good right now <laughs> So I just found this tiny little bucking ball. Uh, two of these would have been shot with a larger caliber round out of a musket. It's got the white patina on it. It's pretty old. Uh, it's not large scent cool, but uh, we'll take it. It is something old. Then Mike with the group, he found something interesting. Called me over to do a little film of it and... Uh, check it out it's really neat so Mike's on his way to show me some gooders he found he seems really proud of whatever he's talking about so that's pretty cool it's, it's I don't think it's 1800s cool I think it's more like 19 teens or 1920s cool hey we love it all don't we yeah we do where'd it go uh oh All right, so Mikey found, yeah, refound his relic, and uh, I showed it to Bill, and then it ended up in my pocket instead of back in the finds pouch. So. It's still got a little bit of its coloration on it, don't it? It's, it's interesting. It looks very Art Deco. All right, here's the back side of it. It's got a little bending going on, but I believe that can be straightened out with a little bit of finesse. And that is the front of it. That is a neat, really neat little relic. 
have no idea what it is. Yeah, we'll have to do some research on it, huh? That's Maybe there's some markings on the back, huh? I believe there's a logo or some kind of marking right there, but it is pretty far gone. I don't know if Happy L gets anything off of that or not. If you find out any information on it, let me know. I'll have to do that. Cool, dude. It is cool. Thank you. Then I found a gooder for myself, and I am really happy. And if I go home with just this one today, I will be really excited for it. Uh, yeah. Just take a look. All right, so. I just dug a plug, and then a few inches down, I pulled out a gooder. Yeah, I found a gooder for today, and uh, it's not far. Well, it's a good distance, but it's still not too far from where Dad found his large scent. I am happy with this find. I'm not sure what caliber it is. It's a smaller caliber, but uh, check out that. Look at the rings on that. I'll have to uh, catch up with uh, Mike and some of the rest of them, but that is an old bullet there. I'm thinking Civil War era. Now, there was no Civil War activity in this area that I'm on right now, this uh, King's Grant permission that we have. But one of the owners on one of the home sites, and I've seen it with my own eyes, uh, has found a confederate states button uh not button but buckle here a cs buckle an authentic one it's quite valuable uh yes so uh civil war era bullet i'm thinking for sure that is outstanding i love it then I caught up with my buddy Chester. Me and Chester go way back. We're longtime friends. Uh, yeah, me and him go way back. Uh, he's a good friend of mine. And uh, he found some good things as well. Take a look at what he found. So Chester found this little decorative, decorative piece of brass here. It's really thin. There's no telling what what it went on, but uh, it is a neat find. It'll look good in your relic case anyway. Yeah, it will. I mean, that is a neat display piece for sure. It's like a branch or a twig or something. It's got a leaf on the end. That is neat. I like it, dude. There you go. And he also got this overall button. What's it say? Something engineer. Something engineer, huh? Yep. Train engineer? No, it's LLYS. <laughs> something LLYS. I don't know. It's pretty cool. I'll have to look that up, but nice, man. That's a nice little overall button. All right, we'll keep going. Now, I'm sitting down taking a break. <laughs> I wear myself this little uh, backpack chair right here. It's a backpack attached with a little fold-out stool. I started bringing that along with me because, uh, yeah, these woods and hills will wear you out after a while. And uh, I'm wearing snake boots for my protection, which are extremely... They get extremely uncomfortable after a while wearing them. Uh, but uh, it's still snake season here uh, in the back country, so I will not be caught out in these woods without them. Uh, you never know uh, when or, or how they may protect you from a, a nasty snake bite. And they also, you know, help you weed through these thorny briars and stuff that are scattered throughout the woods, the undergrowth. I'm separated from the group, like I say, and uh, I hear them off in the distance. I just don't feel like going to find them right this second. Uh, we'll let you know if anything else is found. Looks like we're having a good day. I wish mine looked that nice. <laughs> so I caught it with Mr. Bill and... Uh, 
he said this is his best find for the day and this is a piece of an old pocket knife i mean it is old handle done right it away from it but the brass is left and intact that's yeah, definitely a relic from this old home site and that's probably a pretty old knife all right we'll keep looking hmm what's it say i'm not sure it looks like world. gs <laughs> Bell Wink Wonders or oh, what is that? It's an oldie. Yeah, it doesn't have to shank anymore. Well is it was it at the end where y'all was at? <laughs> that was last. <laughs> I don't know, can you make out what that is? Is that that one button? We so come out on the power line and we start oh, seeing deer stands up and down through there. I said, I ain't never seen them. <laughs> G.I.S. Uh, Bell. Look at that. Nice, buddy. Winder. It's just, oh, yeah. W I N D E R. Winder. I guess. It looked like it might be an overall button. It is. It's a two piece with a know, with a ten like back. It a shank on it. It's a ten back, like the kind of like the buttons we found at school yeah. house, early nineteen hundreds. It's a cool find though. Who do you that find? Yeah, I'd like to give a special shout out. Now this is a channel I've shouted out many times in the past, but I'm going to give them a shout out again. Uh, John Gurley will dig that beep he is not only a good friend but uh he is also a metal detector dealer in our area and he sells many brands of detectors and he sold dad that apex which yeah he's hooked on that apex now you can believe that <laughs> uh, that large scent that u.s large scent wow what a fine uh thank you john and uh i hope we can get out with you in the future uh Hopefully better times are ahead of us and uh, we can get out from uh, this negative situation we've been in for the past year and uh, do some detecting together. That would be awesome, man. I would really love to see you and Mike again. Uh, who knows? Maybe we can get y'all out here on this uh, uh, Colonial Kings Grant land with us sometime and uh, you can find some cool relics for your own. Uh, Lucky Gene against Mike would make an interesting, uh, an interesting, uh, video. <laughs> and again, thank you, John, and, uh, we'd really appreciate you, man. You, uh, hook us up with all of our equipment, and, uh, you do us right. And, uh, I think I speak for everyone when I say, uh, we much appreciate it.